cook my husband noodles. I'm gonna cook my husband noodles. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, babe. What you doing, Fluffy, down there? You cooking my noodles? Mr. Nita is really what your name is, honey, because you so old. What? You cooking my noodles, child? Yes. Let me see what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You show. Sure? I cook noodles all Let the time. Let me see. Check it out. Hmm. You show. Sure? Yeah. Oh, tastes kind of overcooked. You know what you're doing. Honey, let me go, honey. Come on, Mr. Needles. Come on up here, honey. We're going to get up out of here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, she you to had it, honey. You so used to not even eating, you used to eating dirt. So what you talking about? Something even overcooked? You always ask, ask them, well, get a job, oh. cook your own food. <laughs> get a real job. I got a job. My job to make sure you're I'm not gone. Cook. Don't talk to me. I <laughs> shut that though. <laughs> What's up, Courtney family? Welcome back to another video of Courtney Ed. I'm Ed, a.k.a. E. Doug. It's my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. And this is Courtney and Ed. This channel is all about relationship, reviews, and entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Mary at First Sight. Mary at First Sight. So if you are brand new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We like to have fun over here. No matter how much people sometimes in the comment don't want us to, we still going to have fun. So go ahead and hit the subscribe, subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. And on all social media sites, comment down below. So before we get into it, if you want to purchase merch from our store, our brand store, Coed Wear, go on over there. Not right now. Go at coedwear.com and purchase tees like this. We still in Black History Month. We still just got like a few more days, just a few more days to the month over. And you can purchase a hat like this and tees like this. And if you want to get a discount on makeup from TLB, a black owned vegan company, go on over there and use our promo code Coed Fam and get your discount today. All of that is in the description below. You can use those links once this video is over with and you don't watch it all the way to the end okay all right so let's get into it so who honey they still got drama honey they still gonna give us drama which is all good okay so steve and noi they're cooking and you know uh it seems that steve want to make sure that you know because he ain't got a real job so he's just trying to put in what he can put in and, and do what he can do because he ain't got a real job job so he want to make sure that he doing his part so he having her cook or he been cooking or something like that so yeah so he chopping it up so he said that you know he don't want to just be you know just be a stickler just have a regular nine to five that's not what he wants to do he said he got a savings um he can always get money because what he do he always you know if he need a little money he get money but i'm saying what about insurance benefits you know, y'all ladies like men with benefits. Yeah, so, mm. like, health insurance, I mean, like, what is that? You know, so, yeah, that anybody can, if they need... Yeah, they mine and cash. Yeah, yeah what about the other stuff? Plasma, right. Right. You know, yeah, what about the other stuff? Like I said, dumb benefits. Yeah. Health so, insurance. Right. So, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But, um, O and his friend, Jeff, they're having a conversation. So, they're talking about, you know him talking to pastor cal and you know them not having sex just yet so jeff was like dude that's kind of that's kind of new for you like you know you like somebody you go on in but you must really and truly be nervous so O said um one thing about her that he's still a little bit concerned you know we found out some new information but we'll talk about that he concerned about you know her cooking or whatever like she went to the store and got a loaf of bread and some water like that's all you need to live on bread and water. She brought and that. Uh, that's why she brought that convict, <laughs> that convict food. So. <laughs> so his friend was like, "Okay, pump your brakes, though. Like she still used to living that single life, like you was. He's like, like me, you know. I really didn't. It was well, you yeah. eat out a lot, you know. Yeah, Katina was telling him she's so used to cooking for one person. You know what I'm saying? It's just her. And plus, she's a foodie, so she went out and ate all the time. So. She's not used to she's not used to cooking for two people. Yeah, and oh, got to show a little grace on that, man. Now, now I don't I don't blame him for being upset. You bringing 
bringing back bread and water, man. Who you think I am? Cause I got tattoos. You think I'm cunt? <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, I'm quite sure it was something else other in that. But yeah, I got he was me. like, he was like, dude, you just overthinking it. Like, stop overthinking. You just kind of like, I guess, uh, yeah. You know. So let's move on to Mark and um and his friends. So they outside throwing the frizz, been having a conversation and. He's Let's a, keep it short and sweet with Mark and his friend. All only thing Mark was telling his friend was He said it, he liked Lindsay it, but But yeah, she looked too much for him. She she embarrassed him. She makes him uncomfortable in public. Yep. And, you know, the things she does, you know, he would do but not in public, you know what I'm saying? Basically what he's trying to say, Lindsay Lindsay needs to calm down in public. Tap it down yep. just a tad bit. Tap it down. Uh, t- uh, more than a tad. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> so Micah and his sister Claire, they are um, Micah going over to his sister house. They having a conversation. Or oh, was his sister coming and vice versa? But I think he was going over there. Yeah, he went over there because he knocked on the door. And um, he was just talking about you know the honeymoon, how the honeymoon, everything started out well, then it just took a turn for the worse, and it went downhill. And his sister was like, "Well, first of all, y'all don't know each other." You know, so mm-hmm. first of all, you got to get to know each right, other. Right. And then if some did arise, then immediately her being a woman, she just put up a guard to protect herself. Right. So you just kind of like, you know, kind of have some grace in that area. Just kind of be patient with her. And, um, yeah, things are pretty much working out, which I think is supposed to give some good advice, you know, especially being a woman. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, you took it out of my mouth. I was going to say, yeah, this supposed to give him some good nuggets, but... Miss Curtis Sue over here and beat me uh, to the punch. And you always take stuff out of my mouth. So, hey, it is what it is. So, I to say something. yeah, I'm glad you did. So, Chris is back home. Mm-hmm. Had to FaceTime his mama. And go ahead, baby. Uh, you know, basically, like his mom said, she just wanted 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> that's, that's, that. her, that's her law. She just wanted that 15 minutes of fame. That's all she wanted. So basically the mom was saying the same thing a lot of people saying about us. Yeah, because he said that she kept saying, I was robbed, that I was robbed. She said, it sounded like you were the one that was robbed. She wanted 15 minutes of fame, but you was the one that was robbed, not her. And they flipped it to Alyssa and her friend. And Alyssa said, was telling her friend, yeah. They didn't he, flip it. Yeah, I thought they even went back and forth. No, they went to her, but the Shady Production kept flipping with the receipts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. honey. They kept flipping. Whatever she said. And they showed the opposite. Whatever he said, they'll show, showed, you know. Yeah. Because. He she, was basically, the truth was on uh, on Chris' side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because every time Alyssa said something, uh, he, he, I tried to put my best foot forward. I tried to talk to him. That Shade Production show every time when he was trying to talk to her, she'd get up and walk away. So basically, Production, you're saying, girl, you lying. So let's move on to Katina and her friend. Um, so you know, this one, we found that some tea, honey, some tea would drop. So Katina said that um, one thing about Elijah Wan is that, you know, she's not, I guess she's not much of a talker like him. So sometimes if there's dead air, he's going to fill in that dead oh, yeah. air no for doubt. conversation. No and her friend was like, yeah, he could talk on it. He can da, 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 da. And in fact, this is what he said. Oh yeah. He said, man, uh, I think he said something. This is my first time dating a black girl. And the reason why, because he didn't find black women attractive. And that was a bombshell, you know what I'm saying? Because he's half Irish. And I, okay, then I said to myself, "Okay, you half Irish, you, you half black. Okay, you didn't know you didn't date black girls. Fine, you, you prefer white girls. Fine, but don't say you didn't date black girls because you didn't find them attractive. That right there was a step a step too far, in my opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's what uh, Katina friend, she said she had an issue with that. Oh, yeah. And, and, go ahead, babe. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, she had a big issue. She was like, you know, well, Katina was like, well, actually, he said he's never been in a relationship with a black girl. And so she was like, but don't you just kind of like, I mean, I got my eye on him. But you, she was like, well, girl, we done talked about it. She said, but I'm still looking at I it. really think Katina is brushing over the fact, you know what I'm saying? She, she's not taking it serious enough. And then maybe that's the reason why he wants to continue to cook. Maybe he wants some black food. I don't know. 
and you want some uh, spices in his food. You ain't want to raise his, his, uh, his mashed potatoes. <laughs> So let's move on with Alyssa and she was talking to her friend because, you know, Eddie don't follow no script, honey. He just throw it at the wall and see what it's going to be. So Alyssa was basically saying that she wasn't, that Chris wasn't her physical type. So she's oh, telling yeah, her yeah, friend, her yeah. friend did not come to the wedding. She couldn't make it because she had other obligations. But she said that, you know, he won her physical type and... Plus, his friends, talking to his friends, did not help because they pretty much, you know, plant some seeds in her head and then put him in the best light because they said, you know, you going to work a lot, honey. He ain't going to have no time for you. Them seeds, them seeds were already in, in her head. <clears throat> Excuse me. And all he said was, dude works a lot. Okay. Yeah. That's all he said. He works a lot. And that was it. Yeah. And, you know, a well, lot of guys. He works, works a lot, and sometimes you may be second choice, but he said, I don't think, I think he said something, I don't think he'll do that, but you know. All right. You know, but dude never been married. So, you know, when you when you get married, you might change yeah. priorities. And she just took that and ran with it. She took that and ran with it, and but she never she, let go. But production, shady production shady. always comes through. Always so come she through. told her friend, you know, well, you know, he could have talked to me. We was on a small resort, so he could have talked to me. I was always, you know, whatever. Yeah, soon they say that. Shady production, show the receipt. I don't want to talk to him. Hey, Kayla, do you want to talk? <laughs> no. That's one scene. Second scene, you want to talk? I'm leaving. Third scene, you want to talk? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> That's how that went. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So they did their part. Um, and the friend said, well, you know, one thing about you, you kind of hard on men. See? At that point, yeah. she was like. Yeah. I said, ooh, she going to cut you off, friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she going to cut you off. <laughs> yeah. She, they, they, it, leave it to these friends to throw some truth in there. Yeah. And, and she was like. Yeah, it's like when the truth hit her, she yeah. just frowned. It's like she be, yeah, like she, the, the, the crypt keeper or somebody that a wicked witch. I'm melting. Oh no, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. <laughs> so yeah, when the truth hit her, she melt. So she, <laughs> she said that she's moving. The camera, the people asked her, wait, so what's after this? She said, I guess I'll move to Texas and find my cowboy, honey. But before I go, I got to talk to my psychic hotline. <laughs> but the psychic didn't tell her that she wasn't going to find that man without that ego or the ego whatever tattoo, tattoo yeah. and then end up getting a voice in less than 10 days. No, uh, she can tell all that. Okay. All right. You want to consult. All right. So, Jasmina talking to her friend. I'm telling these friends be coming with truth. So, Jasmina said that one thing that she didn't like his tone she didn't like the tone that he he had with me and the friend said well you don't like nobody's tone any yeah. tone any tone <coughs> excuse me and she said uh, she told jasmine plus you always want to be right well no she told michael he likes to be right and she, she said, said you like to be right yeah that's not it. I, I even... No, say that part. The friend didn't just say you like to be right. No. I was giving them the cliff notes. Ain't, this ain't no cliff notes kind of video. <laughs> <laughs> I got I wrote notes here. If you gonna do cliff notes, I wouldn't be sitting up here writing notes. Hey, it's good for your penmanship. No, you write them then. Yeah, okay then. Suck. No, you gonna sit up there, pull stuff out the bottom, put it in the top, and just make some spaghetti. We have smart viewers. They can put it together. So, so yeah, basically, she was trying to tell on Micah, and her friend was just telling her, you just like that. Like, the stuff you saying, and she really truly couldn't say nothing, so, yeah, you I'm know. Yeah, I'm assuming her and Micah are almost identical to it one another. Like, you know what I'm saying? She getting what she is, and she don't like it. Yep. And she said that, um, Jasmina said that he never wants to admit he wrong. She so said, sound you. like you. <laughs> so, she was uh, so let's move on to the housewarmers and we're going to move quick because there wasn't much yeah, to talk about. So talk about. Mark and Liz, they had their housewarming. Basically, Mark and um, was talking to her friends and just talking about, um, I'm trying to think, Liz is talking so much and stuff. Like, what does he need to do? Because she always just, you know, um, to me, her friends didn't really give him no good advice. Like, well, yeah, just talk to her. You don't want it to build up and stuff like that. And you, But, like, y'all deal with this all the time. How do y'all really and truly handle her? 
basically what they're saying, they don't know how to handle her. That's why they gave that limited advice to Mark because they don't know how to handle Lindsay. So Steve and Noy, they are um, preparing for their home home warming people coming in and they decide to cook food from both of their cultures different yeah. cultures and it seemed like it was okay and i think uh steve uh no Noah friends asked steve about you know how the things going and steve brought the having kids and basically he said he don't mind having kids it's just a question of how many kids and that's to me that's a not a major thing in my opinion but that's all, to me, that's all you had with Noah. What else? And you're talking about with Steve, with her friends. Oh, yeah, Steve, her friends, you know, basically, like, asking Steve about, you know, how things going. Then he brought up the job situation, and he always said, he said he can tap into whatever he needs to get a job. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of... Those off of that. He ain't those. I would then quit trying to rush in there and try to <clears throat> beat me before me just kind of give you. Get the it out! Note. Get it out! Get it out! <laughs> so anyway, Noy did tell her friends, his friends too, that like she just really concerned about his finances, and he was like, "Well, the friends was like, well, you know, he can always just kind of like get a job he like that, yeah. so he can just." You know get money so she was just like well you know it concerns me that he can just get money like that but won't do it full time like what's the big deal so she was like she don't want to be the <laughs> i think it was her friend like she don't want to be head of household honey the china the one the bread one in the household yeah. so jasmina and michael they are um doing their house warming and i'm glad to see that they seem to be in a better place because you not, know we call one, them boys. yeah not 100 yeah. but they, they get in there i said it better yeah. i ain't say the best okay. yeah. so he all is right. putting all that alcohol in that blender honey he's trying to them for point of lit and toe up maybe he's trying to get himself drunk <laughs> uh, i gotta drink i gotta <laughs> deal with her so he said that um they are seem to be there in a better place because Pastor Cal done put them in a place. Right, right. So if it wasn't for that, they probably wouldn't. This house won't be a, be a little intense. Yeah, it would be kind of you know awkward, a little yeah. tension going on. And it seems like both of them are very competitive, which is good. So it kind of helped, and it seemed like they had a good time. Jazz was talking to his sister, and Mike was talking to her friends. So, and come to find out, just I think we may have noticed that, but Jasmina is petty. Like, her friends was like, yep, yeah, we get into it, but we'll end up coming back to place. But sometimes we just pet one petty, petty, petty yeah, up it, each other. Yeah, they try out petty one another. Yeah. And uh, Michael's sister was talking to Jasmina, and she appreciates Jasmina for standing her ground, right. standing her ground, and not just giving in to Michael all the time. And, uh, and she basically like you know she feel like she feels like Michael's in is in good hands with Jasmina you know and it just man hopefully Jasmina took that you know and just you know just take it and just do something with it you yeah. know and understand that you know they they do make a good couple you know what I'm saying so hopefully they can work things out and make it. Um, she also said too is that you know when it. Michael wasn't too sure if you liked him, no. and she was like, "I do like him. Like, I really do like him." But so, Jasmine yeah. said, "I gotta understand. It's not all about me. Basically, you know, I gotta keep in consideration other people's feelings. Yeah, his feelings are hurt, and that's yeah. why he felt like she didn't like him." So, Katina and O friends are coming over. So now this the friend. Now I'm just describing her the one that with the overbite but she, she the same friend that was sitting at that time yeah, saying, I had sex yeah, yeah and, I had she, sex. Ooh, and now she's telling some, she I really like didn't it. like him I don't think I'm starting to think none of her friends like oh you know even the friend they talked to at the beginning of the episode she said she really didn't care for oh, oh okay then the other friend said she didn't like oh so maybe just gave the bad impressions yeah so her friends like you know he got to prove himself so they come they ain't have much to say you know uh, in there so steve is um doing the little camera honey like uh what's his name did last yeah uh, jazz 
Uh-uh. Oh. No, I, I was talking about, they had the little hidden camera, well, they, had, they know they in there. Well, it was like, um, what's his name? Um, Jose and um, Rachel. Oh, oh, Jose you know Rachel, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And um, so anyway, but you know, they had yeah. the camera where they talking. Mm. So Steve on, on his little camera, whatever, and he's basically saying that, you know, Noy left. Like, you know, he, he complained about the food and she just packed up her little dog, honey, uh, Mr. Needles. That's what I call him, Mr. Needles. Why do you call him Mr. Needles? That's all for George Lopez when they had found that dog and he was like, he, <laughs> he had all them, need all them shots and stuff. So, you know what, little boy, so I'm going to call him Mr. Needles anyway. You have to watch that. Huh. But anyway, huh. I don't be blowing her. You be sitting up here that. doing all your little, uh, when I was watching this and this show, and you don't remember this, y'all know about this. So when I put my little bit in, don't blow it, breathe hard, breathe slow, and soft. You could have said so, something like, yeah, I remember Mar and his, his mama bird. You, know, you keep my mama bird. Y'all remember that episode? Well, the dog ain't dead, and the bird and the dog is two different things. I just wanted to say so. So, Steve on camera explaining to us that Noy did pretty much left because, you know, he said that she overcooked noodles. <laughs> I just said, you know, I'm, first of all, it's still trying to get to know one another. Right. Okay, to keep that, in, keep that in mind. But, Noy, if that's going to be your stepping off point and it set you off like that she's gonna be real like you said there's more to this than that's what uh, that's why i was reading yeah. in the comments when yeah. this was posted yeah the, the, this it's more than this going so on. but let's skip the because i'm gonna skip this and i'm come back to it but noy comes in and because it seemed like steve said you know because when she walked out she grabbed the little dog and she left and he's just still sitting there had a little backpack on, like, <laughs> no door to the floor. Right. Backpack. Backpack. <laughs> yeah, I love that dude. He be doing that. Oh. So, oh, TikTok. So, anyway, um, so he was like, he tried to reach her. He tried to contact her. She not answer the phone. He don't know, you know, where she is. So, it's like, I guess, I guess the next day that, you know, she finally come in and they sit down and have a conversation. So she said that she went to her apartment to process everything. She needed a reset. Basically. And he said, you can't just leave leave like that. You know, we married. You just can't just be leaving. And not only did you leave, honey, I checked your Instagram stories and you done posted some stuff that's indirectly but directly toward me. Was it Instagram or Facebook? I thought it was Instagram story. I don't know. But yeah. And I said, well, how is she going to go out there and post that stuff on social media about what they're going through, man? And try to be subtle with it. Like, come on, man. You don't do stuff like that. You don't do stuff like that. So, she said that... Um, Get it right. She, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's because he the one talking. <laughs> now, when we first started dating, he didn't do this when we married because I had to... Oh, first of all, day, and if we got into some kind of tiff or whatever, he would go on Facebook and put these. What they it, say? It'll be real. It'll be real vague. You know. It uh, don't matter, honey. It, vague. I don't it matter because people I, look. Sometimes people will say, "Oh, why do I ain't post that? Huh? What's she doing? Huh?" They will be like blues clues, baby. They will put everything together and figure it out. Oh, they they in a little tiff. Yeah, I see you. Keep messing up. I'm going to put more stuff out there. You didn't say that. Man, I said, stopped. man, if you don't stop doing that, take that down. That's so immature. Don't do stuff like that. People don't need to know what's going on over over there. So if we over here, they don't need to know what's going on over here. So stop doing it. And he and he stopped doing it. It took him a minute. Because when he get in his feelings, he was going straight. Yeah. <laughs> this comes from the person that will block me, block my phone, send me straight to voicemail, unfriend me. Between me and <laughs> didn't nobody know. <laughs> Chad, didn't nobody know. And, then, and thank God we weren't popular like the people on Instagram because they'd be like, so-and-so unfollowed so-and-so. We weren't like that, honey. Said, nobody know. Man, she blocked me on Facebook. Yeah, I sent an email and sent that's a <laughs> Snapchat message any way he can get in contact with me. I said, no, go on. You shouldn't be following me on all these different social That's media. Right. So yeah, so he had to tell Noy, you know, pretty much that. To me, I think it's Noy said that 
it it was very rude for him to say that knowing that she cooked she don't normally cook she took the time to do that and he wasn't grateful grateful he wasn't saying you know i appreciate it but yada yada so she said she felt that was rude and that wasn't the first time he got i think steve may come out as a little uh rigid r- yeah right. he does he, right. he does come off he real structured fun. and rigid rigid right yeah but uh, but Nora just got to uh, no she has she has divorced that she got to let him know. But he ain't got no job. He he, well, he might have got a job, but he got money. There's a difference. He got money. He might have a million dollars in a savings account. Well, he need to tell it to homegirl because oh. she want a job, honey. Okay, <laughs> he said he is um not self employed. What's the other one? I don't know. Um, I guess self employed. I think he did say something like that. All right, whatever. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I forget. But anyway, so yeah, so you know, he was like, "You can't be doing that, honey. Our family is following you and everything, child, honey. Now they know something going on over here. They're gonna call me, and ask me questions, and I'm gonna say, "Man, all I'm saying, she just can't cook, and she got offended about it. I don't understand that." You can cook noodles. <laughs> noodles, man. The basic thing you can cook. Now, noodles, man. I had some noodles today. I cooked some pasta salad. I missed them. They were sticky. But my husband uh, liked them. Oh, no. It's probably some regular Roman noodles, man. Oh, you talking about what she had? Yeah, man. Noodles. I think he said the water was boiled up too much. Yeah, the boiled up. And then she was like, what? And she wasn't even over there. Yeah, the she cooked her noodles right, though. <laughs> get that jug. Don't get my... <laughs> So, it seems like, too, that Elijah Wan finally cut that ugly mohawk. Yeah, he did. He, he looked did. like a grown man. A grown man. Yeah, he do. So, yeah, she was like, oh, I love it. So, yeah, it looked like it had struggled anyway. It, it was it, struggling. It was a struggle hawk. Yeah, it was a struggle hawk. It was like a, a snatchback mohawk. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got some, do he have got like. He got some uh, devil horns. Oh, that right there. Yeah, yeah. But do we got a little patch back there? I don't know, man. So, I anyway. Um, I can't talk, man. But I can't talk. Yeah, you're the ball. Yeah, join the ball side. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the All ball right. side. So, let's move on to this bowling um, mess, honey. Honey, when they was bowling, child, Lindsay just doing too much. Yeah. So, it seemed like, I guess this is the last time we're going to see Chris and Melissa, honey, because yeah. they want to keep throwing them back yeah, in there. they got to come and say their goodbyes. They had like they was on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, um, Chris is telling us, you know, that, you know, he got to come and tell the rest of the people that, you know, they are divorced because they don't know. So, the people are looking for them while they bowling and stuff because they was like, where are they? They hadn't seen them since the honeymoon. So, it seems as though Lindsay let us know Mark ain't never had a, ta- a taco. Yeah, he sure ate that taco like he Wait, never had a taco. He never had a taco. That's just, <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> but he eat all them goldfish and stuff. Yeah, that joke never had a taco. <laughs> God, I was. So, whatever that, I can't remember exactly what they were talking about. You know, I know your spouse trying you to new things or whatever, and I know Jasmine had said something. So, so Lynn, Steve was about to respond and say something, and Lindsay got it was about, up. It was about leaving, leaving the seat up, the torch okay. seat up. Okay, right, right, right. And Steve was going to ask a question to, oh, why do you let the seat down? You know, for what reason? Was it a medical reason, or would you just being polite? And before Steve can get his question out Lindsay jumped up I'm a nurse I'm a nurse I got this I got this and everybody was looking at her like calm down yeah and Jasmine like let's let's see answer, answer the question and Lindsay answer. has to be the center of attention yep. the life of the part sometimes it's okay to just sit back and chill yeah she don't know that yet she doesn't know that she needs to just sit back and chill out for a minute let somebody else Enjoy the spotlight. Right. So, Steve did get a chance to say, yeah, you know, whatever he out, said. Yeah. But, you know, that's one thing you ain't never you never done. You don't leave the seat. You always no, put yeah, them down. First of all, we don't share the bag. We don't share we the bag. We don't, but you always, you know, when I do go into your restroom. But another thing, you better put that seat down, honey, because what was in the bathroom one time? Oh, before yeah. Before me. Yeah, well, uh, frog crawled up through the... Uh, through the toilet, set the tank. And I was like, man, oh, stomach bubbling. Oh, 
ah, I'm running him. Ran in there, sat down. I said, huh. What's that down there? Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> the little bee eyes. <laughs> so I jumped up. I was a frog, man. I was woo woo. Did you, did you already? No, uh, no. I was like, woo woo. <laughs> Good thing, boy. He was, if he had jumped up, I'd all been, y'all would never see me. <laughs> so, man, I jumped up, man. Got a bucket of water trying to get him to go back down the toilet. He was trying to fight. And I finally got him down the toilet and flushed him down the toilet. So, yeah. Septic tanks can be dangerous. So uh, anything, child. Uh, so before you sit down on the toilet, look down in yeah, there. Yeah, because somebody, know? something can be biting you on your yeah, butt. Yeah, I you heard. Got bit by yeah, snakes. And snakes and frogs and baby gators and yeah, grown men stick their head. <laughs> so let's see. Chris and Alyssa come in and. The question was asked, you know, how was everything going? You know, how was your talk with Pastor Cal? So different people started, you know, saying how it was. So O said that they, you know, had a good talk and that he needed to pretty much watch his tone with Katina. With Katina. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, you know, yeah, that was good. You know, but she said, but for me, I was good. You know, I think, which I think she was just... She was just joking. Yeah, man. just making fun. Making and fun. Alyssa said, Yeah, you always good. I said, Ooh, they're going to hold you on. They're going to hold you Oh, yeah, she did say that. Mm-hmm. I you did. always good. Let me, get my one, let me get my one last chili. <laughs> <laughs> my last little moments on here. So, Lindsay at that point started whispering yeah. to her husband or something like that. And that bitch, she was like, Oh, here we go. Damn, that's when uh, Jasmine rolled her eyes or something, right? Did she? Yeah, that's why. That's why. And Lindsay? Yeah, Lindsay said, why are you rolling your eyes? You remember that part? Mm-mm. Yeah, that's why I all got started. She, you talking about Katina? No, oh, I said Katina, yeah. You, you said Jasmine. I was like, Jasmine, did they say okay, nothing? Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. Katina. So, Lindsay said that she heard, you know, okay, so because Katina said that she was good, then the one that really truly was trying to really truly knocked Katina down some pigs because what she had to say really was geared to what Katina said right. that oh I'm good right. where well, I heard that's right you got to have conflict before you have no be intimate or something right like yeah so <laughs> that was a shade at Katina yeah, period was. and Katina rolled her eyes and that's when go ahead and that's when uh Lindsay, uh, Lindsay said why you roll your eyes Katina Lisa can't say nothing about nobody rolling her yeah, they eyes because she always rolled her eyes at Alyssa yeah. and ex and Alyssa said the same thing. Why you wrote something? She can't say yeah. that. Yeah. And so ahead. so after that happened, that's what continues. Girl, I told you not you talking to me on camera. You don't know none of this. She said, stay right on yeah. over there. Stay over there. And I know it puts Mark in a bad situation. It does. I know it does. Because Lynn's like, oop, oop. Yeah, and I, I, and I appreciate old standing up and telling, continuing, don't let her rile you up. Don't yeah. let her rile you up. So yeah. that was good. That was big on him doing that and trying to keep everything, you know, calm down. Yeah. And Mark he basically did the same thing. He said, no, don't do that right now. No, don't do that. Yeah. And, you know, because, man, Lindsay, she is... She don't know when to be quiet. She Just keep it she's real. like a little kid. Yeah, she got to have the same attention. She don't know when to be quiet. Um, Chris told the other couples <laughs> that you know they, you know, are no longer together. They did go ahead and get a divorce. He said he think that that was the best thing for both of them. And Alyssa said that you know she put her best foot forward. She wanted it. She worked for it. Yada yada and when yada. And she was yada, saying yada, all that. She was crying. Not just that. Not just that. When they was the camera uh, panning across you know, all the couples, and yeah. everybody was like, "Yeah, right." Everybody was like, mm-hmm, "Whatever, man." Oh, here come, here she come with that BS. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yep, that's pretty much it. So, Lindsay, <laughs> the cameras weren't even over there by them, but I guess they were still mic'd up. Lindsay asked Chris, I mean Mark, Mark. Mark. like, "What's wrong with you? Your your vibe kind of changed and stuff." And and she also, and he said, yeah, because of, you know, what you said and stuff. And so she was like, well, you should have been, you know, taking up for me. You should have been on my side. So he was like, I am for you because that's why I was telling you right. to chill out. Right. And so she said, um, 
So she was saying, you know, basically at that point, they started having words, honey. The camera crew had to come back over there. And she was just feeling like he wasn't taking her side and everything. So it's like he was basically what she was putting out. He was obligated to be taking her side because of all the stuff she'd done for him. Yeah. And what Chris was telling, I mean, what Mark was telling Chris was that, you know, sometimes you got to pick your battles. All right. And, you know, that's not me. I, I'm not all, with all that embarrassing public stuff, you know. Uh, and, you know, and she puts him in the... See, Lance would be the type of person to get her man beat up. Oh, yeah. You know. Yep. And, too, because she started that. Right. Like, you can't poke at somebody or poke or start an argument. Some, Katina shut you down. Right. Because what it is, you said what you said, and you wanted a response from Katina, and she shut you down like, girl, don't start with me, honey. Don't do that stuff on camera. This right. ain't what you want. <clears throat> because she thought she was going to say something to her. Well, you know, where I believe, you know, to have a battle. Back and forth. Yeah, yeah that's wanted, what she wanted. She wanted to continue to <clears throat> engage with her, basically. Yeah, she shut her down. Yeah. And then at that point, you know, she got mad. Right, she got mad <clears throat> and then helped that mark shut her down and old kind of told Katina, you don't buy into all yeah. that, man. And Lindsay <laughs> said, um, cause Mark was like, you know what? I can't deal with this, you know? And so she's like, go on home, go home and call your mom. He said, take another drink. And then she went, <laughs> when she went in the bathroom, Ooh, child. And she is like, oh, come on, dude, dude. Like that. He put all his business out front. She street. said, I, and I wrote some of it down. She said, I hate him. Flip page. She said, uh, you know, he can go back to Boston and live with his mama making 60K selling gym memberships. She said, I'll be good. I said, if you'll be so good, why is you on this show? Evidently, you ain't never been good, yeah. honey, because there ain't no man that you find is finna put up with that mouth. I don't know. She get with the right one. Put in her place. And then she also said, you know, at least if anything, he can give me an O. And he said, he can't give me that. And I was like, God. Because he got little bitties. I said, like, come on. Don't put the man. But, of us. course, she probably thought she was talking personal. Yeah. It's One, the camera crew, honey. Shady production, they baby. They don't like her either. Shady production. Because I, I, I think that if they like you. They're not gonna, they do, they, they'll They do you like they do Chris. They like you. They do you like they did Chris. They paint Chris in this victim light, innocent oh, yeah. light. Yeah, you know. And plus, he really didn't give them a lot to work with anyway. To kind don't of say, like. yeah. But if they don't like you and the little nasty things you yeah. say. And man. you think you just talking amongst them, yeah. hunting them cameras? That might you still mic'd up, girl. Mm. And you getting us? Ah, oh, we listening. Get back. <laughs> get like Chris and Paige. Chris said, you want to talk? Paige said, yeah. Let's take the mics off. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. You were smart. Give him right. that now. You know, so I just, I, I hate it for Mark. I don't know if Mark is, if they stayed married. I would hope not. Don't put, it, no, no, don't, put in the don't put it in the comments either. What's wrong with people saying it? I I ain't saying spoilers. Oh, okay, okay, oh, my bad. I'm putting the I'm just saying <laughs> okay. not spoilers. Okay. I'm just saying, you know. You know, some people like to put spoilers. They do. Comments. We don't do spoilers. Yeah. We don't like. We want to watch it in this yeah, the way it's real time. Is, right? Yeah. So um, I I don't know if they'll stay married or not. Um, because that Lindsay would be a whole lot unless she gets some kind of therapy and calm down, hun, take some medicine. Right, first of all, I think she needs to stop drinking. I don't think she needs alcohol because I think the difference between the time her and Mark and, uh, uh, what's her name? God. Elijah Wan. No, nah, Elijah Wan. Alyssa, at the window, Alyssa was trying to say a piece with Chris there. She didn't have nothing to drink. And tonight, I saw some beer on her hand. She mm -hmm. was drinking. So I said, that's, that's to me the biggest And we big can difference. see on the after party, honey, yeah. she was drinking up all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. so I think alcohol, when she gets alcohol, she's a different person. Yeah. Oh, I would say she's a different person. It it heightens her her, her personality. Right, and to so, a whole nother yeah. level. So, yeah, um, and 
And she was fussing in the bathroom so bad. At Mark and Chris was sitting they down. They could hear it. Like, yeah, he was like, in the bowling alley. Is that her? He was like, yeah, that's her. And she just going in. I'm she going about, in. Go back to your bug and fist apartment. I help you come out of there. Where you going to go now? I took a day off work to come clean that stuff off for you. Or out that clutch stuff out for you. Uh, she just went. And I think it was nasty. Yeah, nasty, she she nasty. cut him deep. She that was, what she did was uncalled for. Oh yeah, and once again, I know she didn't know that the mic she was mic'd up, but still, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah still. you shouldn't cut your yeah your spouse. Yeah, your spouse like that, yeah. especially in front of somebody. Right. You know. So, anyway, on that note, you guys, that's all we got. It seems like next week we're going to bring more of them trying to get to, everybody trying to get to know each other, so they're going to be fussing, honey. Fussing. Yeah, yeah, I see Katina crying next week. Oh, yeah. So, she's, she's yeah, so, so I guess uh, Alyssa's crying spirit stayed with her. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll stay I with guess what, what it is, Elijah one trying to mold him. Now, you know. He's he, not used to dating a black woman. And a black woman is yeah. different than dating. Yeah, let's woman. keep it real. It can you know be saying? now. Probably all of them not the same, but it can be. Man, so yeah, say that. I got we a got black a woman. <laughs> I know she can cook because she black. She gonna get me some spicy food, and that's why he, I think he wants her to cook all the time. And too, you know, she's concerned too about you know as far as sex. Like they haven't been. And that's a good point. You know, uh, <laughs> why why haven't they been to? Maybe he don't. You know, he did say you know he didn't he didn't find black women attractive. So maybe is he really attracted to Katina like that? Mm. Lord of mercy. All right, you guys, on that note, you know, of course, drop down your thoughts and comments. Drop them down in the comments and let us know what you think. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget, on, at the end of every video, we always say, and we all will, always will say it. Always will say it. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. And also put God first in your life. Deuces. Thank you.